We are by Urwerks Geneva facility, the iconic uh, independent watch brand that has brought a lot of freshness in this industry within the last 15 years with their crazy and complex display of time. They will continue to produce such timepieces, but now they've developed a new department called the U Research Division. And this department has clearly a goal of defining new path in the world of watchmaking. The first example of product coming out of this division was the URCC one Cobra watch but today they're definitely showing something after a four-year development period something that will set a new milestone. This watch is the EMC EMC standing for electromechanical control but even before going further with the explanation of this acronym let's just say that the movement found in this watch is actually the first fully in-house developed conceived and produced watch movement which is already the ultimate goal for any watchmaker but obviously that that wasn't enough for Felix Baumgartner, co-founder of the brand and his team. Not only did they produce their first movement, but they wanted to be transparent onto that watch's precision. That's why they've integrated some kind of monitoring system within the watch that will precisely enable you to do that. But the goal was already to meet very high chronometric standards, meaning of minus four to plus six second per day. Generally, watchmakers use a tool called Witchy to monitor the accuracy of the balance wheels running. Urvex team have managed to miniaturize this so that it would fit actually in the case of a watch. Urvex have always been very adamant in creating some kind of interactivity between the watch owner and the watch itself. But with the EMC, this takes it much further. Something important to understand is that there is no link, there's no direct interactions between the watch movement and the electric electronic parts. In a way, the movement is quite classic. It's a manual wound movement with a double mainspring barrel enabling 80-hour power reserve. But now starts some of the particularities of this watch. The balance wheel is made out of R-cap and is almost totally flat. The reason for this is that it will give a better surface for the optical system to monitor the precision of the balance wheel. So how does it work? Well, firstly, this system requires a lot of energy. So you need to pull up this little lever and charge up the capacitor that is inside. A capacitor has a much higher lifespan than any batteries that you can find today. The energy then stored will fuel up an internal oscillator beating at 60 million hertz. So this is just pure precision there. And this is coupled with an optical system found around the balance wheel that will monitor this precision. The goal of this system is to measure the difference, the delta, between the oscillations of the electronical oscillator and the oscillations of the balance wheel. And this will then be expressed as a gain or a loss per seconds per day. So this is all very technical, but the fun part and the most interesting part in a certain way is to see how your daily activity, the temperature, the pressure will impact the precision of the watch. So for instance, uh, during the night you have your watch uh, off your wrist and it just lies there. In the morning when you start, uh, when you want to monitor it, you will see that it will be very, very precise. Whereas if you start to shake it around you, I mean, you have it on your wrist, you're playing sport or whatever. I mean, there you will see immediately that there is a big uh, gain or a big loss of precision. But this is not over yet. Again, it would have been too easy. You can now take yourself for a watchmaker and adjust yourself with this little screw found on the back of the case, the active length of the balance spring, depending on what you've just monitored. Isn't that just awesome? So coming back to, let's say, more normal consideration, this case is made out of uh, titanium and steel uh, and was designed by the other co-founder of Urwerk, Martin Frey. It's 43 millimeter wide and 51 millimeter in height. 55 pieces of this extraordinary watch will be produced. And uh, the less fun part is that uh, obviously the price is quite high and is set at approximately 110,000 Swiss francs. But we're sure and we're convinced that Uber will come up with new series with new crazy functions in the near future.